Well, there's very fierce fighting around the compound, the Bab al-Azir compound. We've been out on the streets around the hospital and went forward to the closest field hospital, if you like, to the compound, which is very close to where we are. And whilst we're there, two fighters were brought in with very severe injuries, having taken part in that fighting. I spoke to one of the soldiers who said that they were using, they were inside the compound still. None of the, the Gaddafi soldiers are outside the compound, but they're inside firing uh, at them as they're advancing on the compound. He said they were using uh, rocket-propelled grenade launchers and anti-aircraft guns to try and fight back the attack by the rebel soldiers. Uh, he said, I asked him about numbers, he said he, he has no idea, but he suspected on that first tier that he thought there were about 40. Uh, we also have been uh, very confused about how uh, Saif al-Islam managed to produce people on the streets, because these streets, not only are they very war-torn streets, the streets between the Rixos Hotel and uh, the Gaddafi compound, but they are manned by uh, rebel soldiers. There are checkpoints all the way across between here and the Gaddafi compound. And I understand from the soldiers that they believe that he has a tunnel between the Rixos Hotel and his compound, and that is what uh, they use to drive uh, Saif al-Islam and to police the supporters on that route. That's clearly their belief anyway. At the moment, though, very, very fierce fighting. We can hear the sound of a firefight very close by to where we are, and they are using uh, rockets to shell the civilian population coming out of the compound and into the civilian population. We went to one where uh, a rocket had landed just an hour ago. Two men died in that house. The whole family was injured including uh, a little girl, about a three-year-old or so. So a big fight going on for the control of the capital.